Hi, I'm Owen from Square Balloon, and today I'm going to teach you how to add an alias in Office 365. Uh, switch the screen over so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm in the Office 365 admin, and um, if you come over, get rid of that. Um, if you come over to the left, you see users. If you open that up and click on Active Users, and then I'm just going to click on myself here. I've obviously hidden the other ones. Um, You'll see on here you've got an option um, to manage aliases here. And I'll just tell you what that does. That's effectively um, making the this one email address, so my original email address, which is um, this one here, and and it's Owen at squareballoon.co.uk. And uh, then I can make an alias of that. So my name is obviously spelled E-O-I-N, which uh, a lot of people have trouble with. Uh, so some people would write Ian, some people would spell Ian with E-I-A-N -I or I-A-I-N and many other varieties of incorrect ways to spell my name. So I have just created aliases for um, all of these sorts of um, potential problems. I've also created things like accounts and stuff like that so that I can use those when I, when I send out um, emails. So it's effectively a way of making multiple email addresses but only having one in inbox and only being billed once by Office 365. Um, and so when you do that and you go, you create the new alias, uh, both of those email addresses would still end up in the email address of the main um, email that you saw there. So you won't really find it easy to use the email address practically like sending or anything, um, because and that would cost you money to do so, so you just don't want to do that. Um, it's a shame you can't do a catch-all, but um, at least this way you can manage it somehow. Um, but what you can do is when you go into Office uh, or into Outlook, for example, and set up the email address, you can set it up as a separate inbox if you want to. Uh, and the way you do that is you, you go along and you set up the email address as you would with a new one and you use the password for the main um, email address. And when you do that, it will create a second inbox for the alias. Um, which you might find handy. Hope that helps somebody. Um, I use aliases quite a lot in my business, as you can see how many I've had. Um, but I also find it really useful when somebody leaves the company. I had an alias for them onto my email address so that I receive any inquiries that they would have had. Um, anything like accounts or something like that where you're in charge of it, but you don't want it to have a separate account in your Outlook. You might just prefer it all comes to your main account and you don't have loads of inboxes and you don't miss anything. Um, so those are some of the uses for it. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. I'm Owen from Square Balloon. Um, follow us, subscribe.